guys, we are going to do some BuzzFeed quizzes. I have asked you over the last little while to send me some of your favorites when you see them and I've added them to a word sheet and we're going to start working our way through that worksheet. So, first one we're going to do is build a bloody Caesar, which is not what that's called. It's either a Bloody Mary or a Caesar and I'm Canadian so it's a Caesar and we'll tell you who your Canadian boyfriend should be. So, let's find out. I'm going to link all of these quizzes down below so you can take them and let me know your results in the comments. Let's get started. I hope it's Ryan Reynolds. Not Ryan Reynolds. He's not. Is he Canadian? Ryan Gosling. There's one of the Ryans is Canadian and I want him. Okay, step one is pick a glass. We've got the Stein. Mason jar is kind of what I'm used to because whenever I get a Caesar, it's either out camping, so it's like Mason jar or a red solo cup, or it's at Montana's, which is like a country bar kind of restaurant here. So I'm going to go with a Mason jar. Pick a booze. Traditionally, when I make it, it's made with vodka. So my Caesar is like vodka, Clamato juice, and then you put in some Tabasco sauce, and then you put in like your garnishes. You gotta put in like the celery and the, um, the, the bacon, and then you also obviously have to garnish the top of the glass. It's a very, very involved process, but it is the only drink that I will drink in the morning. I'm not a mimosas person. I am definitely a Caesar person because you're getting that like tomato juice in your stomach so it doesn't feel like you're as drunk as you probably are. So so, that's a long-winded way of saying vodka. Pick your spice. Uh, Tabasco. Absolutely not even a question. Pick a rim. Um, hmm. No, who, okay, who would use crushed Doritos? Alright, I'm not a fucking 20-year-old boy in a frat house. I am an adult woman. A 21-year-old adult woman not living in a frat house. So, Himalayan salt. Pick a garnish. Um, oh, bacon. Obviously bacon. I mean, celery is fine, but I'm not going to eat it. If there were beef jerky, that would be a really good one. Pickles, too. Ooh, pickles are good. We'll go with a pickle. We'll go with a pickle. One more garnish, obviously. <laughs> a whole chicken. Just a whole chicken. Okay. Um, probably, I would say a grilled cheese, because I would actually eat that. Where are you drinking it? So I would either be drinking it out camping or I'd be drinking it, no, mostly out camping. So um, I guess at the cottage is the most similar to camping. Ryan Gosling! I knew it! I called it and I was kind of questioning whether or not he was Canadian, but uh, now we know. Very happy with the results. Very happy with those results. Now we're going to spend a million dollars and we're going to find out a positive trait because we all need a little positivity and I like compliments, so I'm gonna let BuzzFeed compliment me. Starting out with, choose a luxury holiday. Um, island getaway. I don't understand, like let's talk about The Bachelor for a second and how they went to Finland, which is like an icy cold tundra. Beautiful, but why so cold? I want every vacation that I go to to be hot and sweaty because I live in Canada and it snows here for like eight months and I don't need that on a vacation so I'm going to an island. Choose an expensive toy? Um, okay, how shitty is it that I like completely am drawn to the tranquility pod? Like the idea that there's just a pod and I would be sitting there being tranquil, it makes me happy so I'm going with that. Luxury Treehouse would also be pretty dope though, can you imagine that? Choose a dining experience. See, I don't really, like, I wouldn't go to a Michelin star restaurant and be like, yeah, this is worth like $5,000, yup. I would rather do wine tasting or a meal in a hot air balloon, but then of course I would like look down and get all queasy, and I have this thing about being in confined spaces that I can't leave, like airplanes give me anxiety, so I can't imagine what a hot air balloon would do. So, wine tasting. Choose an accessory. I have no need for any of the first three. I'm still thinking, so like what would I actually use? Uh, I would use none of these. Hmm, but a tiara would be nice. I could wear it around the house and be a pretty, pretty princess, so yep. Choose a way to travel. A uh, private jet, obviously, although self-driving car, that is my goal to one day own one of those because I would love to nap. Can you imagine how insurance would change though? Like if you're allowed to nap, your insurance coverage must be insane and the car must be insane. Oh, napping through rush hour would be great. Uh, but we're not there yet, so private jet. Choose a piece of art. Um, could the portrait be of me? How obnoxious would that be? I'd like sit for a portrait for like 10 hours and it comes out. And what if you didn't like the portrait? What if you're like, oh, you made my chin look fat. I don't like it. 
Oh god, so that's a little too touchy. What if it's not good? You couldn't just like return it. You couldn't be like, ugh, you spent a lot of time on it and you're a very expensive painter, but sucks. I don't like it. So I guess, oh, I guess maybe an abstract painting. Although I feel like every abstract painting that I look at, I feel like I could get something similar for like $30 at HomeSense. Do you know what I mean? So if we're gonna spend all this money, I want it to look expensive, so we'll go with a marble bust. Okay, and a night of fun. Ugh. Theater show could be fun. Concerts. I'm not a big concert person. I just, I don't have fun there. It's too many people. It's too loud. Private movie screening would be awesome. Mm, at a lounge or a club? VIP lounge at a club? I don't do clubs. Even if I could get VIP, I would be like, I really want a VIP not be here. <laughs> what a joke. So private movie screening for sure. Choose a needlessly expensive item. A solid gold Lego brick? What a, what a solid investment. A solid gold investment. What the fuck? Um, okay, what would you use 24 karat gold olive oil for? Would you cook on that or would you just rub that on your face every night? Because I feel like if it's 24 karat gold olive oil, I would rub that all over my body. I don't know. I guess probably a villain chair because that's just fucking dope. I'm creative. It's nice that BuzzFeed sees that in me. Creative juices are running through your veins. You're at your happiest when creating things and coming up with ideas. Something that you often find yourself daydreaming about. Constantly. Wow, it's like you know me. You were born to make art because I'm so artistic. So if you haven't began doing it yet, it's time to get started on that painting or novel that you've just been putting off starting. Yep. That's me. But hey, it, it does feel nice to be called creative because usually I get like, you're funny or you think you're funny. So <laughs> this is a nice change of pace. I think that's where we'll leave it, but I will again link these two quizzes down below because I want to see what your results are. Let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you have other quizzes you want me to take or if you have any other video requests in general. I am so excited to start filming like a bunch of story times for you. I've just been writing out all these videos I want to do and there are several story times, several girl talks, lots of things coming up. So make sure that you stay subscribed, hit the little bell so you're notified and that is it guys. I will see you very soon.